guys, this is a new video. I'm doing Primark and if you like how this look turned out, then keep watching. Okay guys, so today I'm doing the famous Primark. This video is a bit different. One, for the first time ever I'm using a, a softbox light, so let me know if you like it better than daylight. Next, I bought brushes and also I bought a brush and a face mask. So I kind of went in, in Primark, spent double that I planned to spend because it totally adds up. I really wanted, their f they have a really fat, thick fan brush I wanted to get, but it's like, I can buy three brushes for the price of that, because it was at like six pound, but it was so beautiful. So let me start on my Primark. Okay, so the first product is concealer. It was 90p, literally, that's cheaper than the pound shop. And I bought it in the color sand. That is hella light. Look how dark it is, sand. That is going on so low. I'm breaking that so badly. So if the foundation covers, I will be impressed. It's quite rough. You have to probably like drag it on to get anything off. It's not really soft. It doesn't like glide on smoothly. But it's 90p, so who cares? I think I need to start buying foundations that are like two times darker than me because I buy concealers that some reason make me look like a ghost. Another thing, let me know if you like this wider screen because normally I come quite close to you guys. So let me know if you like prefer this to see that more out. So next we're going on to foundation. This is the Longwear Mineralized Foundation in SPF 15. This was £5. I've got this in number two, warm beige, and it comes in this frosted packaging. And with that, I'm going to blend it with their blending brush that I bought. It's a stippling brush, and this was 350. You have to press it a few times. Okay, nothing seems to be coming out. Oh, I hear sand. Oh, it finally came out. Packaging never likes me. Look how long it took me to get anything out of the Maybelline Rewind. I don't like this pump. It makes a mess. It squirts out and it gets all underneath. Not a fan. It's gone everywhere. It smells like paint. Okay guys, so next is the translucent powder. It's from their workout collection. I seem to have a few of their workout stuff for some reason. This is £2.50. Oh, wow. Look at that white. Oh, that's blinding. To apply that, I'm going to take the blusher brush. Who, who applies blusher with a brush that big anyway? And this is £2.50 as well. And just powder. I can see why it's a blush brush. Because it's quite flat. It's not round. Now the powder's done. I think I look a bit more normal now. I found it very hard to find a highlight and a bronzer. There wasn't much options. They had this massive, massive bronzer. It was like literally the size of your face. But then they didn't have a highlight. So I found this. It's a bronzing brick, but because there's like a white shade, I can kind of use it as a highlight. This is actually 250 as well. So with that, I'm going to use a bronzer and a highlighter brush. So the first is a sculpt and glow brush. It's double-ended. To define and highlight, it says. And then I bought a fan highlight brush. So this was 250 and this is 150. It's quite dense. And then you've got this side. You could highlight this actually. So you don't even need to. You could bond with this and highlight that. But I bought a fan brush just in case. Okay, let's bond with this warm colour here. It's the second to bottom. Because you've got a like a champagne. Then you've got like a 
a cool, like a warm, like a light warm bronze. Then you have a cool, then you have an even deeper warm, and then a deep cool. So it's perfect for everyone, really. Because they're so small, it's hard, it might be hard to get in the gaps. So you might want to do them all. Let's see how this goes. Not bad. It's kind of hard to blend with this brush though. It's quite like fat, but it doesn't really move. I don't, I don't know if it's the bronze or the brush or both together, but I'm not really a fan of the way this is coming out. I do not like that. Now let's take the lighter one and use it as a highlight. See, look. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. That's really pretty. Okay, on this side, I'm going to take out the fan brush and let's see how it looks. Because of how thin it is, it takes a while. I actually prefer this brush because you get a lot of surface in one go. Well, well done, Primark. That highlighter, though. It's a shame it's not separate, otherwise I would advise you to get this, but that bronzer just doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, I just don't like that bronzer. And I'm not going to buy this just for the highlight, so I would definitely pass on this. I mean, there's better highlights out there, so you don't really need this. So next, I'm going to move on to brows. This is the Long Wear Eyebrow Pen. I got this in the colour... Does that say Grace? Yeah, number one, Grace. Bit of a weird name to call a eyebrow colour. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be like an eyeliner tip. But it's like a slant... It's like the cut it off, it's like a slanted. Oh, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna have to get a spoolie, cause, to blend it in. The fact it's slanted, that means it's good to make a tail. It's good to fill it in. It's quite smart the way they did it. Can you see the difference? Okay, and the brows are done. That was very weird. I've never used a pen. So I can't wait to add that into my routine and see if that's good, but from first impression, I thought that was really good. I've got two brushes left, which brings me on to the eyes. So we're going on to eyeshadow. This palette is 250 and it's called Vintage. It's got so nice colours. It's got some browns, some reds, a purple some greens. I'm going to take the eye contour brush which is, was only one pound and I've also got a double end smoky brush which was 150. So with my finger I think I'm going to take the white colour as a base just to apply and see how it goes. It kind of blends into nothing. This would be good for like a maybe an, yes, an, an eyebrow highlight. Because it's so natural. Because these are all matte apart from three. 
So basically half of it's matte, half of it is shimmery. I'm going to use the matte brown and I'm just going to blend it in a crease first and then I'll go on to my lid colour. I'm so impressed, that's like better than most eyeshadows. And because I put that white there, you can literally just get up and go and leave the house like this. Oh my god, I love this so much. Next, we are going on... I think I'm going to go with some green. So let me just... These are really pivoted. One swipe and bam, we've got colour. Yeah, let me stick this in that inner. I'm looking so full right now and I didn't even plan that. Okay, next, I think I'm going to take the purple and just have it just on the outsides just to smoke it up. Oh my god, guys, you need to get this palette. I didn't think I'd ever say this because I always look down at Primark. But this palette is amazing. Oh my god, this is the most full makeup you I would ever wear. I don't wear seasonal makeup, so I don't do full and all that. But this is so this is this screams full. Oh my god! <gasps> love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm gonna end that there, so you guys can get a gist of like how the palette is. I want to change all of them. So last, I've used the green, I've used the purple, I've used the brown. Even though they have like three different browns, now I'm gonna use the red, and I'm just gonna have it in, in a corner. Oh my god, red! Am I getting any more full than red? Okay. Just gonna stick some in my tear ducts for like a highlight. Oh my god! They're so like pigmented, buttery. The shimmers are buttery. Oh my god, when I do a close up at the end of the video to show you my thoughts and opinions, you're gonna be shook. Red probably wasn't going to be the best idea. Eyeliner. This is their precision tip for perfect flick. This was only £1.50. Wow, oh, I'm not sure about that tip. It's very long. But let's see how this goes. Oh, wow. Wham bang. That's straight on. That's black as well. Okay, so I wasn't sure about the eyeliner because it's really long, but it helps to get that perfect wing. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so shook. The eyeliner is... It's great. It works. It's black. It didn't drag, it was quite easy to apply, so thumbs up for that. The next is their mascara. I thought it was really weird because it's in like a squeezy tube, which makes you think it's a type of lip product. So this was £2. This is also waterproof and also part of their workout. It's quite light, I can barely even feel it on my lashes. This does nothing for your lashes, but maybe because it's part of their workout, it's for people that want to wear mascara, but still want to keep it on. But I don't see a difference. I can barely, it barely even feels like you're putting anything on. I'm not a fan of it. It does make it very natural. So you've got no eyelashes, this would be good because it makes it so thin and so separated that it literally looks like you're wearing fake eyelashes. So in that terms of the way, it's great, but I'm into lengthening, voluming, and it doesn't do that. I don't like this foundation because it's already 
setting into that smile lines you can see that next lips I bought a liquid lipstick it is three pound I bought it in nude in private what is with their names it's a nice pinky color what what is with the applicator it's literally just straight it's flat and straight well i hope this applies good oh god it smells amazing though it smells like a cake mixture oh my god it smells amazing let's apply this oh hell to know though <laughs> that's light Okay, so apply the lipstick. It's quite patchy looking, so you do have to apply a few layers on to get some colour build up. It looks a lot darker than tube. It looks like a Moavi pink. Whereas here, it's like it's like bright pink. Mm -mm, not a fan. I love these lashes. These are one of the best lashes I've ever used. Didn't that say something good? So I, for the first time, I'm showing you. I bought Primark lashes in Sultry. Used to have an old pair, the packaging has definitely changed. It was like, you know, Claire's eyelashes, it was like that type of packaging. You're not even gonna be able to see that. But these lashes I loved, but I lost the other side. So I couldn't wear them anymore. And then recently I looked up the name of them and they've changed. They look completely different, which I'm not happy about. But they're still amazing. So this is the Sultry False Eyelashes. And this was a pound. So amazing. So I'm gonna apply this and then I'll get back to you. So they are on and they're just so natural looking. I look so done up now and I'm literally going nowhere. So last but not least is the final product. I feel like for, for Primark I went all out for some reason, I don't know. But I bought their makeup setting spray. This is two pounds. Okay, so this is part of their workout range. So let's just spray this. I've got to test this in case it just comes at me. Oh god, it squirts at you. So you get. Oh, oh that stinks! That stinks. Okay. Okay, guys, so that sort of wraps it up. Hope you guys like this. If you want to stop watching, you can, because now I'm going to do talk through what I thought about the products and I'm gonna come a bit closer just so you guys can really see how this makeup turned out okay guys I think I'm a bit blurry but I need to hurry up because my camera's going to shut off but I'm just gonna quickly run through the products I look like a hot damn mess right now okay concealer I liked it it's not like you can still see my spot my chin and even with foundation over that so not that much good coverage or long lasting foundation it got i've never had this before but it's in my smile lines i've never had a foundation that does that before you can see texture it covers i'd have to see about the spot brows they look quite natural i'd actually recommend anyone to get the brow pen very natural i could draw tip easy it looks natural I'd recommend, I wouldn't recommend this palette, I like the highlight but the bronzing, it doesn't look that bad. I probably have to work with it. One of them bronzers you have to just build up and work with so I need to test it more but I'm a bit iffy on that but I love the highlighter. There's two more things I want to show you that I'm going to use. Once I've worn this makeup for a couple hours, see how it holds up, I'm going to remove it with two things that I bought. This, I won't really out with this brand. So next is their facial cleanse and massage brush, which I will demo in the video when removing it off. 
this was only a pound and next I bought a face mask a PS deep cleansing cucumber peel of mask and this was 80p but I'm gonna wear it to the end of the day see how it wears maybe check in and then I will demo taking it off and using these because there was a big thing about these um, makeup brushes there was one brand that had the like 70% off it went from 100 to 30 pound I was going to buy it but I never got a chance to so let's see how this turns out hey guys I'm doing check in and as you can see this side you can still see the contour contour's pretty much come off the foundation's come off on this side my brows are still looking good the eye makeup is still it's still there, still looking good. I had dinner. The lips, so the lips don't stay on. So this will be something you'd have to reapply for the day. But yeah, that's my little check-in. And now I'm going to take my makeup off with this brush and see how this little face mark works. So I'll check with you in a second. I can barely move my lips because my skin is so tight. Why well, can I just say, I was surprised. I thought this was going to be one of them paper, sh like face masks. Like, just the straight peel off ones. But it's actually, like the gel type one to dry and then peel off. And can I just say, on the instructions, it doesn't even tell you how long you're supposed to wear it. I've worn it for maybe half an hour or so and I'm going to take this off because I'm going to go to sleep and not wait for this to dry fully that shit hurts mate oh my god oh that hurts oh that shit hurts frick oh my god Oh. This ain't cute, man. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. That. It's painful, can I say? It's literally taking hairs off my face. So I can't see any black hairs or pores from here, but all I, I can see hairs. I will not be using that again. Oh my god. That's strange, it's quite dry. Another like peel off one I've tried, it still has a lot of moisture underneath, which you just massage or rub away. This is like I don't feel this did anything. Oh that's nasty. That's not working. It's all jelly. I hate gel. And definitely from the future we'll only be picking up that you like paper mask you put in your face I find that's the best or just the fresh ones from like Lush but these gel ones I hate because it's not coming off what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my tea tree green exfoliator mask which is good because then I can use this and really get into action so I'll be right back I definitely wouldn't do this more than once a week probably do it once a month because <laughs> it's quite rough and I don't know if it's because it's cheap and it's Nikki Primark or if I was to get another expensive brand would it be the same? well I know it's more expensive brands they have like the toning ones so you can change heads I am going to end this video here because <laughs> this has been a long very long I keep ending it then Chicken in and all that. 